Hey guys, so here is my coolant cap. Um, the condition on it is mint. There's no problems. The structure is fine. No issues at all with it. Um, the instructions tell me not to put this on too tight. It puts a big warning about it. So when I put it on here, right, um, and I get it about here. Oh, can I get it on there? Sometimes it's annoying. It's not threaded, of course. But uh, there you go. Oh, no, didn't get it on there. It's a bit annoying. There you go. So I got it on there and I turned it. And this is, I call it like stage one, basically. And I don't know. See, there's only two ways you can tighten it, basically. This or this. It sort of like locks there or it kind of locks there. You can feel it lock. Like I can't go left, can't go right. It's sort of in there, but it's like loose. It's really weird. Um, the reason I ask is because they make the instructions say don't over tighten it and I don't get it. Maybe it's supposed to act like a pressure valve and that's why it's supposed to stay this loose. It's only supposed to be on there slightly snug or this where it's snug and it's not going anywhere. Um, when I did it like this and please remember this is when it was overheating. Uh, the coolant actually came out of here dropped down in here somewhere and I had smoke everywhere. Um, I had to walk away from it when I turned off the ATV because I couldn't breathe. It was everywhere, the smoke. Um, so I'm a little confused on those instructions. Um, hopefully this is the same idea on the non-diesel ATVs because I know not a lot of you guys have the diesel ATVs. But is it supposed to be snugged right on there or is it supposed to be loose and act like a pressure valve? I'm thinking sort of like this air filter here. I assume this gets pressed out if there's too much air uh, going through there. So hopefully somebody can, you know, give me a better uh, understanding on that because the instructions are just too vague on the reasoning for it. And honestly, I don't know why they would tell you that because that is the tightest it can go and you can't over tighten it because it's not threaded. So it's just the weirdest instructions ever. Hopefully somebody can help me with that. Thanks.